Hello dear friends, Patrick here for Vortex Rise. In our Abraham Hicks segment for today, we share an audio recording where they talk about inspired work, meditation, and how to leverage the universe. Hope you guys enjoy. So excited to be here. Thank you. I'm sort of addicted to my schedule and my to-do list, and I want to let that go because I keep filling it with more work when I want to fill it with more time for me, meditation, and well, such. Well, you might ask yourself, though, because there's a good amount of that work that is very satisfying to you. And so don't just call it work or activity because having something that you're inspired to feels really good. Esther could be sitting home somewhere on a mountain in Utah. You could all be too. But isn't this also a nice way to spend some time together? You might want to call this work. You might want to call it play. It certainly is a classroom of extreme proportions. In other words, we are really getting to the nitty gritty of creation. There's nothing more productive that you could do. But what you're reaching for and one of the things that Esther has discovered that's helped her in this regard because she's busy too. And sort of addicted to that because there are things that must be done in order to keep things moving along as you want them to be moving along but we offered her some words the other day that have soothed that for her and maybe it will soothe you too we said to esther because she's always considered herself to be a rather practical person she's going to get the job done she needs to be somewhere she's going to figure out a way to be there and so forth if the computer needs to be programmed she'll figure out a way to program it or find somebody who can and she wants to be in on it and blah 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 on and on and on it goes and so you can get yourself pretty engaged in the activities of life and the activities of life when they come from inspiration are delicious it's the activities of life or the action of life that you are doing not from your connected place so many people get themselves into a sort of vibrational wad with their thoughts and then they try to fix it through their actions well that never works it just makes you exhausted mm -hmm. where if you let your inspired actions be what's dominant in your experience then there's all that leverage that we've been talking about all day here today so the words that we offered to esther that have really helped her to make this bridge is esther there is nothing more practical that you might do than daydream today because there's leverage so imagine a crew and they're going to build a a big waterfall kind of fountain and there are huge boulders and this crew has put straps on the boulders and they have a crane and they're using the leverage and the physics that they've learned from long before any of you were born and they pick up these big boulders and they place them that's leverage or they could all struggle get enough people together that they could drag something to a new place but you understand leverage there's leverage in a fulcrum or do you just want to pick it up with your own muscles in other words there's so much leverage that you understand so why not access the leverage of the universe that creates worlds by doing the most leveraged or practical thing that you could do which is get yourself into a good feeling place and let the most productive powerful path of least resistance thought download into your open and free and non-resistant mind or you can struggle your way i've been doing the struggling and i guess through meditation is what you're suggesting maybe to allow that it is but here's the difference between meditation and what we're talking about because for a long time we found that it was easier to teach you to think no thought than to think pure positive thought because you've got a reason for every thought that you're thinking sort of like the two competing conversations that we talked about earlier today where they believe one thing and you believe another and it just becomes a sort of battle where you both dig into your positions and no light ever shines on the subject well a lot of times you've got that tug of war going on within you and so when we encourage you to quiet your mind often the thoughts that we're asking you to quiet are 
resistant in nature and if you think that you're gonna talk yourself out of those beliefs you're not gonna do it anytime soon but you could focus upon the air conditioner and therefore cause those thoughts to not be active and when those thoughts aren't active then it's easier to change them does that make sense here's a statement we've never made before you cannot change in this moment an actively vibrating thought to something else because the law of attraction is going to continue to produce more of the vibration that is active did you follow that so what are you going to do you got to take that actively vibrating thought and deactivate it so that law of attraction isn't pulling it that way and then you can take it easily that way we've never said that before did you follow that that's that leverage of thought when you allow yourself to tune into this powerful non-physical energy where the true leverage is and you make the association between that then you have a powerful tool that you can utilize so here's the difference between the meditation that we've been encouraging you and the daydream that we're talking about here today are you interested yes meditation helps you to get out ahead meditation stops the resistance and puts you in a receptive place and then in that receptive place the ingredients from the vortex can be received by you in the form of a thought or an impulse and that's what we're calling the daydream it's coming from somewhere it's coming from all of the beautiful things that you've been asking for it's coming from the carefully crafted and carefully honed and carefully sifted pile of life experience it's the culmination it's the best of what you've asked for even before you came into this body and since you got here and it's been being tended by your inner being and focused upon by your inner being and when you get your vibration just right then it can occur to you in this blissful daydream you used to do it when you were kids you daydreamed all the time until somebody told you you were lazy you daydreamed all the time until somebody told you your dreams weren't practical you daydreamed all the time until what was got more of your attention and seemed more practical but there is nothing more practical or more powerful than the daydream very good I'm gonna do more of it so what is the daydream it is law of attractions momentum on a vibration what's the nightmare it's law of attractions response to a vibration the law of attraction is at the heart of either the daydream or the nightmare it's just what influence are you under when you're daydreaming what influence are you under when you're nightmaring have you ever got on one of those rants have you somebody mentioned something you've lived something like that you think about it then you think about something else then you mention to somebody they've lived it and before you know it it's all around you and all it is is a response to the vibration that you started without needing to yeah something more no I think that's it <laughs> so what'd you get just now to allow to allow the vibration from the vortex from source to be more dominant and to drop the other and stick. there's nothing more practical that you could do than that there's nothing more productive or practical than to utilize this leverage and we really want you to think about it don't go out there and pick up big things and move them around it's just not necessary when there's cranes and stuff <laughs> right very good thank you good yeah, thanks.